Today I want to talk to you about all of the amazing customization that the Steam Deck has to offer, from changing background images, fonts, colors, and much, much more. The Steam Deck is perfect for anybody who enjoys customizing their devices. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some of my personal favorites and how I have configured my Steam Deck so you can do the same. I'm Chris the Steam Deck Guy, let's get to it. Let's take a look at some of the plugins that I use personally on my Steam Deck. The first one I want to talk about is How Long To Beat. Now How Long To Beat displays the average completion times for all of the games in your library and it appears just above the play button. I love having this available in the UI because I use this website often and so it's super convenient having it built into the UI and at a glance I can see how close or far I should say to completing a particular game. The next one I want to talk about is Proton DB Badges. This plugin shows the compatibility of games running on Proton on Linux, which is what the Steam Deck uses. With this plugin, you can quickly see if other users have got a game working on their Steam Deck and the level of compatibility. Ideally, you want a game to have at least a gold rating, preferably platinum. Uh, I did do a separate video on ProtonDB, so if you want to know more about what this is and why it's important, then check out that video. But this plugin is great having the badge appear next to all of the games in your library. Next, I want to show you CSS Loader. The Steam Deck UI is basically a web page in HTML, and CSS is used to control the look and feel of the page. The CSS Loader plugin allows you to download CSS created by others and dramatically change the look and feel of the Steam Deck UI. Because it uses CSS, you can enable and disable any settings with just a click, and you can even combine multiple CSS to personalize your Steam Deck, as I have done here. I use the Clean Game View CSS to make the artwork full screen, which looks very nice. But as you can see, because I'm using the How Long To Beat plugin, the play button is actually shifted off screen. But there is a way to easily fix this. You just need to go back to the How Long To Beat plugin, and then rather than default, you want to select the clean layout. That is designed to work in parallel with the clean game of view CSS. And as you can see, now we have the How Long To Beat information displayed on the right, and we get our nice full screen artwork and it's starting to look really nice. Now if we back out of the game into the home menu, I can now show you the CSS I'm using to customize the home screen, which is the Switch-like home plugin, which is very popular, and it resembles the look of the Nintendo Switch. I'm also using the static background plugin, which enables me to change my background to a custom artwork. And I'm actually using animated artwork, as you can see here, the thing to note is you can't use animated GIFs, you can use animated WebP files. So keep that in mind. Other themes that I've enabled, which are pretty popular, is the round plugin, which just rounds the edges off the games in the artwork. The eight one theme changes the colors of the fonts. As you can see here, I have enabled a white and yellow theme, which matches my background and my branding for my channel. No QA and blur, I'll come back to that one. That's really useful. Faster transition animations, again, as the name suggests, results in faster animation transitions when you move between games to, to menus. It just makes the UI a little more snappy. Centered game text on the home screen that will just center the text above the game, which it's subtle, but it just finishes my theme off nicely. And that's all of my CSS that I have enabled. Now it's worth noting, I have quite a lot of CSS themes enabled. I have quite a lot of plugins enabled, but I haven't seen any impact to my Steam Deck performance. I know some people recommend not having many plugins or themes installed, but personally, I have not experienced any issues. So next on my list, I have Audio Loader. Now, Audio Loader is a simple plugin that enables you to change the background music or add background music, I should say, to your Steam UI, because by default, there is no background music but you can also change the system UI sounds. And there are a lot of packs and themes created by the community that you can download in just a few seconds. I've had a play around with this. I like using the PlayStation Vita background music and currently I have Breath of the Wild sounds just for fun, although it can get annoying with a lot of the beeping and sounds. A very popular one is Animation Changer. You'll see a lot of people have customized their boot screens. This is how they do that with the Animation Changer. I'm using the Pip-Boy 
in yellow to match again to match my theme there are tons and tons of themes available another fantastic one is steam grid db i've again i've talked about this in a separate video but this is the plugin which enables you to change your artwork and what i didn't talk about in that video is you can actually have animated artwork which looks really nice so as you can see if i go into control so we have an animated artwork here on the home screen but you can even have animated artwork here and as i have changed the look of this page with css so i have the full screen artwork i have how long to beat information and proton db badges this looks night and day compared to the original version to change the artwork you just go to settings and then change artwork and then you can change all of your artwork from here it's worth noting not all games will have animated artwork but the popular titles will such as control and hades has some nice animated artwork a popular plugin is vibrancy deck which enables you to increase the color saturation of the steam deck which makes a big difference to my eyes at least if you are using vibrancy deck then a tip i have is to install the no qam blur theme from css loader this will remove the blur that's applied when you have the quick menu open this makes it quicker to adjust the saturation so you don't need to keep closing and reopening the quick menu as you can see it now enables me to change the settings and i can actually see what's changing rather than having to close and keep reopening the quick menu so this is makes it just super convenient the last one i want to talk about is deck settings now this plugin gives you a list of games and shows if there are any game settings available on either the share deck site or the steam deck hq website so those guys test most of the new releases and provide recommended settings to improve battery or maybe to get more performance out of the game so if any of those reports are available on those sites this plugin will pull them into the UI and you can see all of the games in your library and then you can quickly see and because it uses the quick menu you can actually pull up these settings whilst you're in game. So that's it for this quick video. I hope you guys found that useful and I'll see you on the next one.